Lamb has long been a favourite dish in households around the world and is often considered the centrepiece of many family dishes. This is even more prevalent in the Muslim community, which makes up less than 5% of the national population, yet consumes 20% of all the sheep meat sold in England. Allah Ta'ala mentions in the Quran, وَلَا تَأْكُلُوا مِمَّا لَمْ يُذْكَرِ اسْمُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَإِنَّهُ لَفِسْقِ And do not eat from that which Allah's name has not been taken. We concentrate on uh, eating halal and making sure that the zabiha is done on the Islamic methods. And that's compulsory for every Muslim. The second aspect is about halal and tayyib. And tayyib means wholesome food, good food, good grains, traceable food, and food which is good for human beings. Halal and tayyib are a part of a good, pure and wholesome lifestyle and these values are inherent in the way that sheep meat is produced in England. But how exactly does the lamb which reaches your plate get there? What journey does it go on? And why is it that lamb is so highly revered around the globe? The answer lies in the grass and soil on the surface of the country, as England's rain-fed pasture offers one of the most efficient livestock production systems in the world. There is a wonderful climate for grass growth, with almost 65% of farmland only suitable for growing grass to feed livestock. By grazing animals on this luscious green produce, farmers are able to convert the grass into nutritious red meat for humans to consume. Charlie Hollinshead is a sheep farmer in Shropshire near Birmingham who sells into the halal supply chain. Sheep are typically reared outdoors in a natural environment. After suckling, lambs are reared on grass and sold to an abattoir or livestock market. Key nutrients in red meat include protein, iron, zinc, folates and B vitamins. The halal market is very important to the sheep producer because the Muslim community consume more mutton and lamb than the average. At the livestock market, the market operator is responsible for overseeing the welfare of animals sold and ensuring that they are cared for and treated humanely. The livestock market provides an important service to farmers by selling their livestock via auction to buyers. We start early at about five o'clock in the morning sorting sheep and grading them from the local farms. The farms would be fairly close to the market in general terms. The animals travel about 20 to 30 miles, most of them. Uh, they come from a variety of areas, some from the uplands, some from more lowland areas. Our job in the supply chain is to really find square pegs for square holes. The lambs are of a different type, quality and size, depending on where they've come from, how they've been bred. So when they come to the market, they're sorted into even lots as regards type and as regards weight, so that the buyers can then buy exactly what they want. Now that's the role of the livestock auction system. It gives people a chance to bid for what they want to meet their own particular requirements. As regards the halal sector, the Muslim community in its widest sense is extremely important to the sheep trade in the whole of the United Kingdom, both for export of quality lambs, but also obviously the slaughter of cull ewes. And during difficult times, it is the cull ewe market that has added real value to the sheep producers, especially when the lamb trade is under pressure, which it is at the present time. So the Muslim community, and we sell to a lot of Muslim-based firms, provide vital competition, which is outside of the remit of what you might call the normal supply chains, where you have supermarkets who prefer more integrated supply chains, which, to be honest, the auction system doesn't often pay a part in. When it's time for the lambs to move on to the abattoir, they are transported in approved special purpose vehicles. Welfare remains paramount throughout the full process and is a highly praised attribute in Islam.
Rizwan Khalid is a meat producer based in Shropshire in the west of England who produces sheep for halal consumption. As a Muslim owned and operated abattoir, we try to buy the best quality sheep that is lean, has good confirmation of muscle, that gives a maximum meat yield. We supply Muslim customers all over the world, here in the UK, France, Germany and further afield. In the UK we have the highest standards of processing in the world. We have great standards of hygiene, of welfare, of environmental, and this is very much in keeping with the Muslim ethos of excellence. The Prophet ﷺ said that verily Allah loves excellence in all things and this is what we try to do over here. We buy the best quality animal, slaughter it in the best possible way and give it to customers a great value for money. There is no better meat than lamb. On arrival at the abattoir, the lambs are inspected by an official vet from the Food Standards Agency to ensure the animals are in good health and are fit for slaughter. The vet works closely with the abattoir owner to ensure best practice is observed and carries out inspections to certify health and welfare standards are maintained. The vet's declaration that the animal is fit for slaughter is a vital part of making sure that the meat you buy and consume meets regulatory requirements. Once approved, the animals are sent through for slaughter and killed in accordance with halal requirements. There are many UK certifiers who provide assurance that the relevant halal criteria have been met for the benefit of consumers. The carcasses are then dressed and prepared and once again inspected, this time by a meat hygiene inspector from the Food Standards Agency. The inspector will conduct a post-mortem examination of every single carcass to ensure it is fit for consumption only then will they apply the health mark. A lot of work goes into ensuring the right product is available for the right market, as different customers look for different carcass traits. With this in mind, the carcasses are graded and weighed ready for sorting. Many customers also require the carcasses to be stamped to certify they have been slaughtered in accordance with halal requirements. So at the abattoir, the animals are processed to high standards of animal welfare and meat hygiene to give a very high quality carcass that the customer demands. We produce carcasses and they go for domestic consumption in the retail market. They go for export to Europe, particularly markets such as France, and then further afield. And we at AHDB Beef and Lamb have been working hard to find alternative markets or broader markets across the world. In terms of the halal sector, we have a, a growing domestic marketplace demand and we've seen tremendous uh, leap forward in the demand for the product at home at a domestic retail level. But further afield we're seeing growing export opportunities. Chilling and temperature control are important to extend shelf life and maintain the quality of the meat. On dispatch, the meat is loaded into chill lorries and sent on to various retail outlets to be butchered and prepared for customers. Butchers break down the carcasses into various cuts and joints of meat, which will be displayed in their stores for customers to buy and take home to their families. A lot of work is done to develop new cuts for existing and emerging markets in order to ensure the whole carcass is utilised and there is minimal waste. AHDB Beef and Lamb, the industry levy board, leads on a lot of this work in tandem with independent halal butchers and large retail stores alike. They created a halal cuts guide which helps butchers to offer a varied range of meats to suit the eating needs of the Muslim community. Traditional cut of meat continue to prove popular but there is also emerging market for new ways to cook with the lamb and things like AHDB cutting guide are big help with that. For example, we used to do lots of diced lamb but have recently tried more new cuts such as a lamb mini roast which is a simply small roasting joint suitable for two or three people and is ideal for cooking midweek. Um, I'm cooking a special meal tonight with lamb. Is there anything you can recommend? When a customer walks through our front door, we ensure that we can offer them whatever they want. 
lamb dice, lamb leg, lamb chomps. We can provide everything. We source our lamb from the respected supplier. They take great care of the products to give us and our customer exactly what we need. Our customers rely on us for their food. The quality of meat that we source and sell is a reflection on our business, the farmer and the abattoir. The grass-fed lamb gives the special flavor which keeps my customer coming back for more. As you would expect, we have spikes in demand, especially around the festival of Ramadan and Eid. As Qurbani take place and families celebrate end of the fasting with the shared meal. Qurbani and the festival of Eid al-Adha, which takes place approximately 70 days after the end of Ramadan, has an impact on the sheep production market in England, as you may expect. It is incumbent upon every Muslim to follow in the footsteps of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, and have an animal slaughtered as thanks to Allah. On Eid al-Adha, one can only start the Qurbani after the Eid Salah. It is impermissible to start the Qurbani before the Eid Salah. Once we have the meat, we have been told with regards to the hadith to make three portions, one for the immediate family, one for the extended family, and a third portion specifically for the poor, because in the Quran and in the hadith, there has been a lot mentioned regarding the link and connection between the poor people and the Qurbani meat. Muslims are also told to make sure that once the animal has been sacrificed and the Qurbani has been given out, not to keep the skin for our own purposes, but that also should be given to the poor people. Festivals aside, there is year-round demand for halal meat, and as with the wider non-halal market, quality is of utmost importance. Consumers are given real choice, and as a result of the whole process, can enjoy some of the lamb with their families at any mealtime. A family home such as this one is the end of the journey for much of the halal lamb that is produced in England and it often forms the centrepiece of the household table at dinner time. Lamb is a big part of our diet and the variety of ways that we can enjoy it means it remains popular in my home. It has always been a staple ingredient but recently the new cuts and joints have given us something different and we've tried a few novel recipes. We recently tried the lamb mini roast, which was recommended by our butcher as a midweek meal. It's great when you've had a hard day at work and you don't want to spend hours on your feet. You simply add a warm spice mix. You add some cumin, turmeric, salt, pepper, fresh orange juice, and you place them on a bed of new potatoes with some fresh bay leaves and some onion wedges. It only takes 45 minutes to cook and it's delicious. We've also experimented with new ways of using lamb gima. I love making kima pasties. They're quick and easy to make and they're great for when the kids come home from school or when we have guests popping over for tea. They make a nice change from samosas. Today we are cooking diced leg meat which is very high quality and a real premium product. It looks so impressive when we sit down together to eat or when we're entertaining guests. It's always lean and tender and full of great flavour and it's always my favourite to cook and serve. The most important factor for me is consistency. And if I don't get consistently good meat, I know my family are not going to have an enjoyable eating experience. And that's why we eat so much lamb. It's the same high quality all year long. It fits in with our lifestyle. And I know my family are going to get all the nutrients they need. Lamb is a staple in my household and a firm favorite for any occasion. Halal is a way of life, and sheep meat is a primary protein choice for Muslim consumers. The aim of the production system in England is for consumers to enjoy their eating experience, like this family, and keep coming back for more. That is why so much care and expertise goes into every aspect, all the way from the farm to the fork. <laughs>